If f of x equals 2x minus 6, find the inverse function and determine the value of f inverse at 10. We'll begin by finding the inverse function. Replace f of x with y to make the following steps more clear. Swap x and y. Isolate the term with y on the left side. Divide both sides of the equation by 2. We can replace y with f inverse of x since the graph is a function. Draw the graph of the original line and its inverse. Now evaluate f inverse at 10. Replace the function input with 10. Ten divided by two is five. F inverse at ten equals eight. The point ten eight exists on the inverse graph. Now we'll move on to part B. Given that f of x has an inverse function f inverse of x, is it true that if f at a equals b, then f inverse at b equals a? Recall from part a that the point 10, 8 exists on the inverse graph. If 10, 8 exists on the inverse graph, the point 8, 10 exists on the original graph. The point 8, 10 on the original graph can be written as the ordered pair 8, comma, f at 8, since f at 8 equals 10. Likewise, the point 10, 8 on the inverse graph can be written as the ordered pair 10, comma, f inverse at 10, since f inverse at 10 equals 8. The original point 8, 10 has the inverse point 10, 8. In the original point, the y-coordinate of 10 is the same as f at 8. In the inverse point, the y-coordinate of 8 is the same as f inverse at 10. When f at 8 equals 10, f inverse at 10 equals 8. Now we'll generalize this result. A point on the original graph, AB, has an inverse point, BA. In the original point, the y-coordinate of B is equivalent to f at A. In the inverse point, the y-coordinate of A is equivalent to f inverse at B. When f at A equals B, f inverse at b equals a. Now we'll move on to part c. If f inverse at 4 equals 5, determine f at 5. We know that when f at a equals b, then f inverse at b equals a. Comparing f inverse at 4 equals 5 with f inverse at b equals a, we can see that b equals 4 and a equals 5. Therefore, f at 5 equals 4. The point on the original graph is the ordered pair 5, 4, and the point on the inverse graph is the ordered pair 4, 5. If we bring up the graph, we can see both points.
Note that we could have also found f at 5 by using f of x equals 2x minus 6. Now we'll move on to part d. If f inverse at k equals 18, determine the value of k. Recall that the inverse function is f inverse of x equals x over 2 plus 3. Replacing the function input with k gives us f inverse at k equals k over 2 plus 3. We know f inverse at k equals 18, so replace f inverse at k with 18. Isolate the term with k by subtracting 3 from both sides. Multiply both sides by 2 to eliminate the fraction. The answer is k equals 30. The point 3018 exists on the inverse graph.